What's going on, guys? I am with the Moose. And I am ATB Mutt. And we're back with another episode of our Mutt 16 rating guesses. Today, we're going to be breaking down an NFC West team, the Arizona Cardinals. With the 24th overall pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals selected DJ Humphreys, offensive lineman from the University of Florida. Definitely a great pick by most accounts. He should be able to start on the right side, likely at right tackle, given that Jared Velda here um, kind of is anchoring that left tackle role and Mikey Upati. Um, the newly signed uh, player at left guard, those those three should be a very good combination, creating one of the better offensive lines in the league, should be open up some holes uh, for Andre Ellington or whoever ends up being the running back if they may you know, trade for Adrian Peterson or who knows. Um, and also uh, Carson Palmer going to have some time in the pocket as well. So DJ Humphreys, nice pick by the Arizona Cardinals with the 24th overall pick. We're guessing around a mid-70s overall for him to start it off. Like I mentioned at left tackle, Jared Velder here is a fantastic player for the Arizona Cardinals. We're going to project him at an 84 overall to start next season. He should be a pretty dominant force on the field. One of the better left tackles in the league. Also warranted the final edition, which you guys are seeing on screen there. Definitely had a nice year and uh, definitely justified his five-year $35 million contract he signed last offseason with the Arizona Cardinals after having a few years um, in the Oakland Raiders system. But Jared Velder here, definitely a nice player so far and uh, is only improving, that's for sure. And I have some Arizona Cardinals friends as well that definitely, uh, you know, rave about him. So uh, Jared Velder here, we're going to predict an 84 overall, maybe even an 85 overall, but we're sticking with the 84 number to start Must 16. Coming in at number four on our top five Cardinals in Mutt 16 countdown is wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. Now, Fitz has been a Madden mainstay since coming into the NFL in 2004. He was on the cover in 2010 with uh, Troy Polamalu and had one of the most solid cards in Mutt 15. I'm currently rocking his 97 overall playoff legend as my wide receiver number two, and it's a solid, big wide receiver. He's a six foot three, big bodied receiver who can go up and grab a ball at the top of any throw. Uh, he had a bit of a down year in 2014, at least compared to his previous seasons, as he had just 63 catches for 784 yards and just two touchdowns. Uh, but, so because of this, we think he's going to drop a little bit in Mutt 16, perhaps to an 85 or an 86 overall. Uh, given that he had such a solid career, we think he's going to start out as an elite receiver, but we can definitely see him dropping into gold status as well. At number three on our Arizona Cardinals countdown is the newly signed Mikey Upati, signed a couple months back. Uh, in March and definitely should be a solid addition to their offensive line at left guard. Um, he's known as being a very, very good run blocker, but kind of a suspect pass blocker as seen by his 73 uh, pass block on his base card in Mutt, six, or Mutt 15, I should say. Uh, in Mutt 16, we're going to guess that he's going to be around an 87 overall. Didn't do too much this year to warrant you know a huge upgrade, um, but overall should be a very, very solid offensive lineman, that's for sure, and definitely going to start off with a nice little elite form, given that he's such a good run blocker, really able to hold people back. Pass blocking definitely needs uh, needs a little work for you, Potty, but overall he's going to be solid in Mutt 16. Coming in at number two on our top five Cardinals in Mutt 16 countdown is cornerback Patrick Peterson. When you think of Mutt cornerbacks, you think of this guy, Pat Pete. I'm not going to lie, I voted for him so much for the Madden 16 cover. I would have loved to have used a 99 Peterson next year, assuming they do the same sort of thing that they did with uh, Richard Sherman this year. Uh, I've used just about every single Pat Pete card in Mutt 15. I'm currently rocking his 99 overall position hero as my number one cornerback right now. Um, this past season, Pat Pete collected three interceptions, returned one for a touchdown actually. He had seven additional pass deflections, had a sack, and 48 total tackles. Another great season for a guy that's only going to be better uh, as he's only going to be 25 next year. Uh, because of his dominance, we're, we're going to project that he starts at Mutt 16 with an 89 overall card. At number one on our countdown for Arizona Cardinals in Mutt 16, shouldn't be too much of a surprise, but we have Calias Campbell. Probably said his first name wrong, who knows, let me know in the comments down below, but uh, Calias is really, really good. Um, he even got a Team of the Year card in Mutt 15. He had 58 tackles, 41 QB pressures, 7 sacks, and even 45 stops as well. Uh, Campbell definitely had a great year. Definitely deserves a little bit of an upgrade over his base card in uh, Mutt 15. We're going to bump him up to an 89 overall to start Mutt 16. Definitely should be a dominant force on the field with those nice finesse moves. And also, he's pretty quick off the line. He's not, you know, extremely fast or anything like that. He's not going to be a linebacker type, you know, speed. Uh, but Calais Campbell should be coming off the edge at a good rate and uh, definitely able to sack the quarterback quite a bit um, in Mutt 16. That will do it for our Arizona Cardinals Top 5 in Mutt 16. Let us know if you agree with them down in the comments down below. Also, let us know who you think is going to be in the San Diego Chargers. That's who's up next. Who's going to be in their Top 5? Let us know in the comments down below. 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.